let's take a look at the brand new QuickSight mobile applications. So we offer both a version for Android and iOS, so you can find them in the appropriate app store and download them for free from there. So I'm going to open by uh, clicking on the QuickSight app here. I've already logged in before that, but you would provide your account name and your username and password. Uh, and then after your first login, it does support biometric authentication, so you can use your fingerprint uh, after that. So here I'm on the home screen of the app where I have uh, first on the top my favorite dashboards as well as any that I've recently viewed. So you can toggle between those on the top. Uh, I also have a kind of scrolling area here in the middle where it gives me some tips on how to use the application. And on the bottom, I've got sections for the home screen, which is where I am now. I've got another section where I can view all of my dashboards in addition to just my favorites and my recently viewed, which was on the home. And lastly, on the right, settings for the app, where I can choose different languages or a different region or toggle biometric support on or off and some other information about the app. So let's go to the dashboard section and open up one of these and take a look at some of the interactive capabilities that we have from our mobile device. So first thing you'll notice is that every single dashboard that you build will is responsive in terms of the layout. So it's going to automatically reorganize your visuals to be more vertical and to fit the screen real estate on your phone better. So this dashboard, if I were to look at it from my browser and my desktop, those first four visuals would be left and right across the top. But here you can see that I can scroll through them top to bottom. Uh, on All the way on the top of the screen, you have a section for where you can change between any sheets that you've built into the dashboard. So sheets or tabs you have in the dashboard. Uh, we'll do that in just another second here. Just to the right of that on the top, you have an icon where you can filter. So any on-screen controls that you've added for either filtering or for parameters, uh, you can control these. So here if I change my segment filter to be SMB, for instance, uh, I could change, make a number of changes and then click Done. So now this whole uh, sheet here, this whole dashboard really, is, is now filtered to SMB. Those three dots just to the right of the filter allow you to undo and redo, so that will pop up from the bottom. Uh, but other ways of interacting, like if you'd built any drill downs into your visuals, so for instance, uh, if I zoom in here onto my bar chart, and do a long press on the retail bar. This will pull up the context menu if you do the long press and hold. So I've got an option built in here where I can do a drill down from the industry to the customers. So I'm going to choose that option in the middle and then zoom in again. And let's just choose one of these and say that I want to drill down to the next level, which would be product ID. So any kind of hier hierarchical drill that you've built uh, while you're authoring this dashboard can be used by your uh, readers and end users from the mobile app as well. So those are just a couple of ways where you can interact and drill down. Let's go take a look at one of these other tabs. So I'm going to go over to my details tab. And on this one I have uh, a table with some more detailed information about my transactions. So this table is very wide but uh, not so much in terms of, of height. Uh, but if I want to see this a little bit better on my screen, I can hit that in the upper right where I have those arrows to maximize it. And now I'm going to rotate my phone the other direction. And we'll see that uh, I can now scroll around. And it's, it's reoriented the visual to, to uh, take up more space left and right. So uh, I can scroll left and right, I can scroll up and down through the different um, rows as well. And if I rotate my screen back, it'll go back into portrait mode. So lastly, let's go check out one of my other tabs here, which uses anomaly detection. So my first three tabs on the top here have uh, some anomaly, I've configured anomaly detection in these insights, and it's notified me that I have some anomalies that it found. Uh, you can even explore the anomalies from your phone. 
So on that first one, I'm going to click Explore Anomalies, and it's going to show me that first one that it found uh, from India, where it, it dropped uh, quite significantly in November. So if I make a selection on that and do a long press and hold on it, I get an option on the bottom where I can analyze contributions for it. So here I can choose other fields from the data. So I've already looked at it by geo, but now I want to slice this by product categories as well. And I'm going to click Analyze. And now it pops up the contribution analysis, which I could also trigger when I was uh, looking at this from my browser tab and on my laptop. So I can see that drop that we had in India in that particular uh, day was primarily driven by a drop in office supplies and then books after that. So even some really advanced and sophisticated uh, drill down and analytical features like the um, anomaly detection and the contribution analysis you can even access from your phone here. So I'm going to click back on the top to get back to my dashboard. And there we have it. So go, you can find the new applications in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download them for free from there. And hope you enjoy using them.